Hey there guys, it's Liam here again from Cry Gaming, and here we have the Warlords on Oz boss guide for the Raid Finder equivalent of the Siege of Wormrest raid in Cataclysm. Um, basically, he's a very tanked spank boss, one, only one tank required, uh, but it has one interesting mechanic, which is what you can see to the right of the boss, but we'll get onto that in a minute. His main uh, buff is Focused Anger, which is a stacking 10% attack speed and 10% physical damage buff, which stacks every time the Void of the Unmaker is bounced. Um, we also have Psychic Drain, which is a conal attack, which causes 120k damage and heals boss for 10 times the damage caused, so tanks probably use a defensive cooldown for this, um, just so boss doesn't get healed as much, and so it doesn't take the full 120k damage, because that is a lot of damage. Then we have Disrupting Shadows, which he casts on random raid members, which deals 30k damage every 2 seconds. Um, when it's dispelled, the uh, dude dude with it takes 60k damage and suffers a knockback. Now we move on to his interesting mechanic which you can see part of it here. But anyway, um, let's move on to Void of the Unmaking next time it comes up. It should be in a minute. Okay, here we go, Void of the Unmaking. Now, this is diff the way this is handled is different from the actual raid. He summons a random void, void of the Unmaking, which is bounced between players. Um, when uh, This is done by making the ball hit the player, and it hits the player, deals about 18k damage, and then bounces in the opposite direction. Um, Every time it's bounced in the opposite direction, um, damage increases by 20%. And also, the focused anger buff on the boss, which increases his attack speed and damage, stacks every time the ball is bounced. Now, it's different on uh, Raid Finder, because one player can just simply be dedicated to bouncing the ball. And the idea is to not let the ball hit the boss and bounce it up until probably got about 10 stacks of void, void diffusion and then just angle it so it bounces at the boss um, when it hits the boss um, void um, the boss will be diffused which increases all damage on the boss by 5% per bounce but also um, puts the healers under stress because this phase does 14k DPS to everyone in the raid for 30 seconds but it also removes all the bosses stacks of focused anger but which is good because it means less damage on the tank which means less damage to worry about which means the healers can worry more of raid healing for that phase um, so yeah that gives you a huge damage buff on the boss and that is why the boss has so much more health than all the other bosses in the thing um, and then, once the 30 seconds is up, um, phase 1 starts again. And the player's got to bounce the ball of unmaking between himself and then aim it at the boss at 10 stacks. Um, there's only one other thing, which is, if um, the player bouncing the ball fails and it hits the outside of the pool, or the wall outside the raid... I don't know which one because it's never happened to me and it shouldn't really happen. But yeah, what happens is it, um, the raid deals 60k damage to everyone and everyone gets hit in the air which means they'll suffer full damage. So that's the end of that. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this helped you. And I've been Crygaming. Rate, comment and sub if you deem me worthy. And I'll see you later.